Hello guys, welcome along, hope you're doing well. We're back in Microsoft Flight Simulator for another tutorial in the PMDG 737-800 and today we're going to be discussing how we set up and configure the FMC to fly a holding pattern on our arrival into London Gatwick from Copenhagen. So let's hop inside the flight deck and get things started. So we're expecting arrival onto ILS runway 26 left via the Tebra 2 Golf arrival and if we check the charts we can see we'll shortly be approaching Abtum at flight level 140 before turning left onto a course of 216 degrees to Arnon followed by a right turn 244 degrees to Lark and right again 286 degrees to enter our holding fix at Timber. And if we check the hold in more detail we can see when we arrive at our fix at Timber we need to be at a minimum holding altitude of 4000 feet on an inbound radial of 307 degrees from the Mayfield VOR, which I have pre-tuned into both nav radios. And then once we've flown one circuit of the hold, we'll proceed with our approach onto runway 26 left. So we can see our holding fix at Timber on the nav display there. So if I try and, let's try and get the nav display, the FMC and the chart into view all at the same time, that looks about right. Um, then we can sort of talk through the process. So how do we input the data for the hold into the FMC? Uh, first of all you want to press the hold button uh, which brings up this box at the bottom followed by the waypoint we are holding at which is timber and then we drop that in there and that brings up our hold page and also displays the hold on our nav display. So as we discussed we need to be on an inbound course of 307 degrees and a right turn for the hold um, now currently the FMC is showing 285 so we need to add 307 slash R for the right turn and we just drop that in. So for holds at flight level 140 or below which is where we're at today um, you would have a leg time of one minute. Uh, anything over flight level 140 and it would be a minute and a half so we'll leave that set at a minute for the hold today. And at the top right it gives us a speed and target altitude along with uh, an ETA at our fix and then it also gives us the time available for our hold before we start using our final reserve fuel uh, which is an hour and nine minutes so let's execute that and there we go if we look at the nav display that shows the hold in the magenta line along with our uh, entry into the holding fix at timber which all looks good If we hit the legs button and just double check, we can see uh, the hold has been added into our active route, so that's, uh, that's exactly what we need to see. Okay. So I've intentionally arrived into timber at 7,000 feet, which is actually too high for the 4,000 foot constraint at Mayfield. Now this is basically just to illustrate uh, a typical scenario where we might need to fly a hold. Uh, perhaps ATC have told us to expect traffic on our arrival into Gatwick, uh, and they've instructed us to maintain 7,000 feet before entering the holding fix at Timber where we can descend to 4,000 feet before continuing our approach. So that's essentially what we're going to be doing. And we're just starting our right turn in now to intercept our fix. And we've got quite a cluttered nav display so I think I'll just turn the terrain mode off just so it, uh, it cleans it up a little bit for us. Okay so as we discussed um, we're going to basically be using the hold to reduce our altitude by about 3,000 feet. Um, as I mentioned we're currently flying at flight level 70 so uh, if we come up to the MCP and wind the altitude back to 4,000 feet that's basically where we want to be after we've flown our circuit. Uh, so we'll add that in and then I'll just wait uh, until we've entered the hold uh, before going into vertical speed mode and starting our descent down to 4,000 feet. Okay, let's hit vertical speed mode then and dial in our descent at, let's go, uh, 1,000 feet per minute. We'll be fine. And there we go, we can just see the green banana coming down which means the plane uh, thinks it can, uh, can meet our target altitude by that point.
Okay, here we go. The plane has just started its turn in right uh, to enter the holding fix at Timber. And if we take a closer look at the nav display, we can just see the aircraft's just going to follow that magenta line quite nicely. And in fact, this is a, a really nice angle to show both the charts on screen and the nav display at the same time uh, because they're around about the same angle as we look, uh, look straight at them and we can cross-reference that uh, everything's looking good and uh, we're all set up for our hold, followed by our approach into Gatwick. If we also take a quick look at the FMC, uh, we can see the hold is being displayed in the active route, which is perfect. OK then, so as long as we have LNAV engaged, it's pretty much a case of sit back, relax, and let the aircraft take control of flying the hold itself. And as we turn right onto our outbound leg of the hold, uh, we can see we're around about five and a half thousand feet, so we've got about 1500 feet to descend before we're at our 4000 feet, so once we're at that target altitude, we will exit the hold. And if we just take a look at the you know, green banana there, it's going to be probably about two thirds, halfway up the outbound leg of the hold, where we're going to be at 4,000 feet, so we'll be able to exit at that point. OK, so that's 1,000 to go then. Let's uh, talk about how we exit the hold then. So basically there's two ways that we can go about exiting the hold. Um, we can either go down to the FMC and go to our legs page and simply select a waypoint and bring that to the top as a direct to and execute and that will automatically uh, leave the hold. Uh, but what I'm going to do is hit hold followed by exit hold and if we have a look at the nav display that draws in a dotted line which looks correct so we will execute that and then as long as we leave the aircraft in LNAV mode it'll follow that course all the way round uh, to timber and automatically exit for us. OK, so entering our final turn right then onto our outbound end of the leg, let's just have a quick recap on how we've performed the hold. First of all, checked our charts for the inbound course of our holding fix and made sure we were turning in the right direction and we hit the hold button on the FMC to enter all the relevant data and just double check that it matches everything that we have on the chart and then we hit the execute button to add the hold to our nav display and then it's just a case of letting the plane fly the hold uh, as many times as it needs to or until we're instructed by ATC to leave uh, and then we can hit the exit hold button followed by execute and that's pretty much where we are now and once we've completed the outbound end of our leg, the plane will continue to follow our flight plan automatically using LNAV and we are good to proceed with our approach into Gatwick. Right, so that concludes today's tutorial on configuring the FMC to perform a holding pattern in the PMDG 737-800. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful. Uh, if you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.